<clears throat> Banana dog. <laughs> it's the new dog variant that nobody is talking about. This should not be here. Snapshot 24W10A might be the one and only snapshot that this new version of Minecraft needs. 1.21. I think it's pretty safe to say, you guys... Well, this is the best update in a while. I know I'm going to be talking about dogs a lot in this video. I don't want to make it seem like this is the only thing that's important in this snapshot because what's probably more exciting to me is that you can now do custom crafting, true custom crafting in Minecraft. You can see here I have a banana dog. No, this isn't a fake item. This is real. This essentially means you can now have NBT in the crafting result or even in the items here. I'm not sure yet. Looking at the way that the new data is structured here, I don't think that's quite the the case yet. This is the most exciting bit. You can now add custom model data as well as many other things as a component in the results element. Basically, banana dogs. So as it seems, dogs have gotten the best treatment they could have possibly gotten. They even have their own entity folder in the resource pack, by the way. I don't know what the pervading theme is yet for 1.21. I don't know what to think about it. Got combat, We've got adventures, we've got tinkering. One thing is for sure, this is a good update. So we have the pale wolf, still exists in the tiger biome. The forest, you've got the woods wolf, the snowy tiger, the ashen wolf, the old growth pine tiger, we've got the black wolf, the old growth spruce tiger, we have the chestnut wolf, the sparse jungle, we have the rusty wolf, the savannah plateau, we have the spotted wolf, the wooded badlands, we have the striped wolf, which is also home the armadillo so good pairing there and in the grove we have the rare snowy wolf so you can tell that the wolves still fairly dominate the tiger biome in the game the wolves unfortunately don't have their own distinctive behaviors the only things that separate them are where they spawn and the pack size now of course you can vary them now if you just spawn them in a regular biome that's not specified they will look like that <laughs> the default if you want to command a wolf to have a different variant you can simply run this command and change it to snowy and now it will be snowy so it is your choice how you want to play the game rusty is kind of cool i like that so now you've got a little dog with a different variant cool stuff mo yang of course if you wish to breed two different species of dogs it will take a 50 percent chance to spawn one of those breeds so it could be pale could be rusty it is pale in this pen i have 20 tamed wolves all with wolf armor and what i'm gonna do is spawn a warden and you're about to witness the magic that Muyang has decided to give them. <laughs> the wolves are too strong, man. <laughs> we wanted buff wolves, we got buff wolves. Watch this. I got a skull catalyst. And after all that, we still have seven wolves alive. Buff wolves. Okay, so what's the deal with the banana wolf? 24W10A introduces the ability to have custom recipe results. We have regular wolf spawn eggs, unmodified, and the recipe result is still a wolf spawn egg, but with an extra component. So we've got four components here. This one has an extra component, which is custom model data. This is the same item, just with a different model data, or MBT. And we have me holding a banana dog. And so this is what happens when I spawn the banana dog. 